All right, let's take a look at some of the examples for parallel and skew lines. Our first example, A, says, true or false, some pairs of skew lines are also parallel. Uh, now, obviously, this one, uh, if you followed the lesson there, you probably recognize right away this one's false, because in the very definition of a skew line, um, a skew line cannot be on the same plane as the uh, line it's skew to. So if the two lines are not on the same plane, they can't be parallel. So the definition of skew says they're on different planes, and the definition of parallel says that they're on the same planes. So there's our two parallel ones all on one plane. And our skew lines, we did the little three-dimensional cube, if you recall. If we have our skew lines, then our um, our shape might look a little like this, and our skew lines would be maybe this one that runs down this this side over here, and this one that runs back over here. So skew lines are specifically not on the same plane, and parallel lines are specifically on the same plane. Can't possibly be true. Let's take a look at B. Uh, B says on the cube below list a pair of parallel lines. Okay. Now again, parallel lines are lines that run beside each other on the same plane and never touch. So there's actually about a zillion pairs of parallel lines. Uh, we could do from A to B here, and then from C to D. Those are on the same plane, that plane being sort of the face of the cube across here. Um, you have another pair, say, back over here, um, F to H, and E to G. That's another parallel pair of parallel lines. We can do that one in maybe a, a green color there. And that back face back over there would be the plane that those two are on. So there's a bunch of them there. You know, FB and DH, those are parallel. Uh, you could even do AE from here to here. And then DH down here. Those would be parallel lines as well. If we think of the plane as being sort of that diagonal of the cube there, so my diagonals aren't working so well with this new tablet. Okay, there we go. Now let's take a look at C. And C says, using the cube below, list a pair of skew lines. Well, that's easy. We did that uh, the very first one here, right? So we could say maybe line A, B, so across here, and then line F, H, back here. Those would be skew lines because even though they're not ever going to touch each other, they're not on the same plane. So FH and AB, and that's it.